What's up my people? How on a day with Cindy happen with Cindy? So welcome back to our channel. Okay guys, someone shared this link with me just now, a few minutes ago. Bona boy and Nengi dating, you know, that's the rumors out there currently but are they really dated because they were spotted in the club together i don't know because we spot you in the club with another girl does that mean you guys are dating well all we can just do right now is wait anyways guys <laughs> let us move straight to the next one here we have two-faced edibia and edibia and Pero. And you know it's crazy because like we had to like include this lady's name Pero. I mean it's Two Face and the wife. But the thing is Pero is the baby mama and she's got three boys for Two Face and and Two Face is currently in USA. Remember what happened, you know, when Two Face went to USA the last time? This lady, uh, the, the wife, Ani Dibia, went crazy on social media. I mean, we still got the, the voice notes, you know, it's, ah, man, social media, right? Once it gets out there on social media, I'm talking about anything, pictures, videos, audios, it just never leaves, it never disappears. Let's just listen to this again. Scatter everything! And I'm going to scatter everything! Nobody knows the rush as a woman. I will ruin everything. Hello, and you know your family. This is Annie. You said that I was with my husband today. Peaceful, nothing was, nothing happened. My husband told me he had a shoot today. Only for him to pack his things and his stupid cousin Frankie helped the planet. His family does not love me. They hate me. They've been giving me hell for 10 fucking years. Today, my husband packed his things. He lied to me that he was going to shoot. But my husband is on his way to America, planned by himself, Ethel Moribe, and Frankie. All of this behind my back. I don't deserve this. I don't. I know this is not your business. But I can't call any member of this man. I can't even call his manager. He will not take my call. Because he thinks I'm the reason. He thinks I'm in his way. He thinks I'm in his fucking way. So he and Fred would never take my call. He not sent his on his way to America without telling me. Without fucking telling me. Without telling me. He's going to see Pharaoh in America. And he's all that kid. Don't move this car. Pack this car. I'm going right now on Instagram life. I'm going now. I'm done. I'm done. Now that was Annie Edibia. That was the first time we knew that okay, this this seemed like a big thing, or the, or the issue was that big about Two Faces Baby Mama Barrow in particular. So after that audio surfaced on social media, we were all like, wow, so this is so serious. Now, Two Face is in the USA currently. Right after the news about Two Face getting tattoos, you know, to uh, show that he loves his kids, every, all of them equally, and all that. Also, the baby mama coming on social media to praise Two Face for being a good father, being there for the kids, and all that. <laughs> Guys, later, the next report that we got was Annie Edibia unfollows Two Face Edibia. Truly, yeah, we checked it, people confirmed it. And Edibia truly unfollowed Two Face Edibia, but was it intentional? Well, Annie Edibia said there's an, uh, an Instagram glitch, according to her, so that is not her fault. Like, you know, that people want to destroy her marriage after her marriage. She even insinuated that, you know, the families are not to be trusted, they might be behind it. Two Face was still following her. Now, <clears throat> she even gave a statement after that. I mean, again, I was like, oh, Annie Dibia, this is not necessary. You don't need to explain everything, but it's okay. You want people, people will still believe whatever they want to believe, no matter how much explanation, whether it's true or false, you know. So I was like, you don't need to waste all this energy on, like, trying to, like, um, pass me. But on the flip side, what if Annie Dibia did unfollow Two-Face Edibia? 
you know, think about it. Now, these are comments on social media. Some said, there is no way Annie Dibia would tell us that she didn't know about this. Her trying to pretend and all that. In fact, they said the more she's trying to explain, you know, the more it seems like she knows what she's doing or she actually unfollowed Two-Face. Guys, what do you think about this whole issue going on between Two-Face and Annie Dibia? Annie Dibia also shares her fears uh insecurity our fears no as insecurity yeah our fears um and the challenges uh and what she's been through with two face on that show on dstv right and now we're getting out even before that show we've got like um news about annie dibia and two-face dibia having issues annie dibia have clashed with two-face two-face's family and the clashes with two-face's baby mama Quero. you know it's been like that but could it be a coincidence? Why now he is in USA? The baby mama posted, you know, good things, you know, about Two-Face Adivia being a good father to her kids. Why now? Why, uh, why is this glitch happening now? That's the question on the lips of many. Guys, let me know what you think about this. But before we leave this to the next one, let us read what Annie Dibia says. She said, Jesu, na so una like bad news, uh, bad news attire. Um, na wow, simple Instagram glitch. Una don't create story. Nigerian bloggers I hail. As she continues, her family is who takes care of you. It doesn't matter if they are blood related or not. Know this and find peace. Family can low key be throwing stones at you and still pretend that they are standing up for you they can be deceptive and also pretend to be protecting you don't lose guard i think it's time to read some comments annie dibia please put your emotions to check the obsession is beyond love and it can be deadly if not properly handled don't go and run mad because of manu because this isn't normal anymore we know you are in pain take heart okay another person here you rest Kwanu. resist the urge to always come public with your family issues because everyone is fighting one demon or the other true everyone is fighting one demon or the other let us move straight to the next one ha, this is um a marriage of six years a sad one right here actor Kalu ikeagu files for divorce according to him he said the ex-wife denied her him sex and is also seeking or demands uh, custody of his son and stepdaughter <coughs> guys not only that i said this lady just left home you know to nowhere and told him that she's off to her father's house let's quickly read what uh, he said recently according to reports after the birth of our son she has refused to have sex with me i was not aware she lost the pregnancy due to an infection okay i think she lost the pregnancy but didn't tell him but let's go back to the previous uh, paragraph uh, the actor further told the court that his wife denied him sex and also poured water on him while he was asleep uh, the petitioner also said he was not aware that his wife lost the pregnancy due to a sexually transmitted infection while they were together Okay, let's continue. He said, uh, pregnancy due to an infection as I did not um, give her any infection till date. I have not seen any report attached to a document that she lost a baby through STD. Though I did not um, ask her why she lost the baby. That's what he told the courts. Wow, this is really serious. He says here, I got back home from a trip on August 4, 2021 to find out that my wife had left our matrimonial home with the children to an undisclosed location. I tried to contact her. When I got to the house and found it empty, I sent her an email on that same day and she replied that she had gone to her father's house in Enugu. She told me she was at her father's place in Enugu and four days later, I saw her at the airport in Lagos heading to God knows where. In the mail she sent she said she was in enugu well we're yet to hear from the wife i think uh it will be fair to also uh, listen to the wife moving on to the next news um guys <clears throat> this is about papaya x i'm sure most of you have an idea who, who this is you know right now i'm talking about those of you that watch my videos every day now 
Papaya X celebrated 1 million followers recently. Look at the huge cake. She even invited artists, you know, to the event. Some people had to fly, you know, in from outside Lagos just to attend the one million followers celebration party or something. Yes, but guys, here is the thing. Is this whole car giveaway because yeah, she gave out car and iPhones, right? Is it fake or real? Because according to reports, she actually gave the car to a friend, not a random person. <sighs> Let us read what uh, this uh, doctor said uh, on Insta on um, Twitter. He said so. Papaya X clocked her 1 million followers on Instagram and hosted a big giveaway party to celebrate. People traveled from all over Nigeria to the venue when they heard that a random person would win a car. A lady won the car and everyone was so happy for her. But a little bit of digging revealed uh, that the lady that won the car is very close ally to Papaya X. She's the one handling her fan page. They've been following each other and I'm um, commenting on each other's Instagram post since 94 weeks ago. That's like 2020. People have time on social media, even though the specific day they, they started commenting on each other's Instagram post. Now, guys, don't forget to check out previous video. Why don't you just pause and like and subscribe too <laughs> those of you that just watch yes you are a fan but you don't subscribe please ensure you subscribe all right let's let's continue the heart of a woman is a desperately wicked why didn't she just give the car to the girl if she wanted to appreciate her for something but how is she going to get that attention if she didn't do that now i don't know if this person is actually um right or sure about what they're saying but if they are if they are sure i wouldn't be surprised because this is social media it's social media anything is possible why make people waste their transport and lodging money when you already knew the person you would give all your gifts to okay okay now look at it and <clears throat> they even show poof here <laughs> Wow, this is this is really really serious. Here we have DO to the TUN, the OAP. It says, if you can throw a party for gaining one million followers, what will happen if you get verified? Now, I don't. I think we all focused on the one million followers. Number one, she's so dramatic, right? Number two is this is social media. If you know how to use social media, you will definitely cash out. But in turn you might get something that will also you know affect your mental health and that's social media for you At the count of three, be back. Give me a motherfucking beat. One, two, three, go. B. Give me a loud A. a. Give me a crazy B. B. Give me a resounding A. a. Give me a 
of supersonic wow. wow. And give me a resounding Here we have Turn to Decay. Turn to Decay uh, sends a message to our parents uh, that uh, have their son schooling in Abuja. She says, uh, Dear parents, uh, if you have a son schooling in Abuja, please do video call with them throughout this period. We don't want to hear justice for anyone's bomb bomb. So what's Turn to Decay trying to say? What is happening in Abuja? She says, before them pimp the apple of your eye too. Okay. I don't know. Is there anything, any reports out there about kids in school or kids schooling in Abuja? Guys, if you know about this story, share it in the comment section below. Now, let us move straight to the next one. We're quickly going to read this. Ladies, uh, be careful who you adopt as a friend slash sister. Uh, things are happening. This lady took another girl as an area sister, as they fondly called themselves. Bam! Area sister have gotten pregnant for the fiancé of that lady. But why? The lady has been a good, uh, a very good help for that girl in so many ways. At a point, many thought they were related because of how they do relate. It's what it is now. You can't trust anyone, Biko. You know, this is why so many ladies don't help each other. Uh, we wonder why, even in the entertainment industry, you wonder why this is everywhere, on every level. You're just scared, just because of this, snatching your boyfriend and <laughs> snatching your fiance, your husband, or like, I don't know. That, that's the main reason though. Moving on to the next one, we're going to read this. My husband uh, just came back from work by 7 o'clock, had his bath, I served him his food, he rejected it and told me that he wanted to eat fish pepper soup by that time and I also just came back from work. I told him that it was not possible that he should wait till tomorrow. Fish pepper soup is something I have to plan and it takes time. Now. If I understand this correctly, you guys didn't talk about what he's going to eat when he returns from work or he just came back, you served him what he requested or what you guys planned to cook or what she planned to cook. If that is the case, then I see no reason why they should have an issue. Let's continue. He said he got upset and called me lazy. In my presence, he picked his phone and called a girl. Maybe he's looking for exes. Maybe that is why he requested for something that he knows that you can't cook so that he can have a reason to go out or something. Because I see no reason why you should humiliate your wife in a... That's disrespect anyways. I think they've been having issues before now. So, yeah. He put the phone on speaker and he told the girl he wanted fish pepper soup. The girl responded and told him that she will rush to the supermarket now and buy fish. Uh, he should start coming. My own husband dressed up and drove out of the house. I was just looking at him in shock as he dressed up, picked his keys and zoomed off. I need to know if... Okay, I need to know if I did anything wrong. Um, do you think whether I did something wrong or not? As long as you guys are married, I don't think he has the right to call another girl in front of you and tell the girl that I don't even think so. Even though, even if you guys have issues, do you think I should have gone out to buy fish that night? I just came back from work. Two, after the long traffic, what can I do now? This is the height of disrespect. Let us move straight to the next one. Uh, politics here. Uh, Peter Obi wins Labour Party's uh, presidential ticket. Yeah, he, he's their presidential candidate now. They said um, Pat Utomi, I think, uh, stepped down for him. So let's see how uh, this goes. Straight to the next one. Here's a video of Bolamet Tinumbu speaking at the APC presidential committee yesterday. And a lot of people said that this man has got a problem, a medical condition, me medical issue going on here. Why does he always go blank in the middle of a speech? I don't know, but guys, let's watch this video. That is why real estate is a job and financial.
Yeah. Money creator in America. In on its own. It's the same thing in London. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What's your Almost anything happens to that market, it shakes the whole... Let's read this. Posted by Sarah Reporters. APC member uh, petitions presidential screening committee seeks disqualification of Tinobu over alleged age falsification. Chicago University certificate scandal. <sighs> Let us read more reactions here. So many people by period, by the way. So many people who shouldn't be um, president of Nigeria, Atiku and Tinobu are on that list. We can do than these two. Shaking my head. But a supporter of uh, Tinobu has this to say. Even though Tinobu is yet to be uh, declared the, the APC uh, candidate, presidential candidate, everybody already assumed, most people that already assumed that Tinobu will emerge, you know, the winner. Anyways, this person says, by the way, there is nothing that Atiku can offer this country that Tinubu can't offer a uh, double or triple. But Tinubu perhaps has more going for him than Atiku. Uh, Atiku only game is that he's a northerner. Aside that, he's uh, empty and just hungry for power. What do you think? Moving on, uh, here we have Atiku uh, <laughs> celebrating with his supporters in Abuja dancing. Okay, EFCC uh, finally arranged Richard Sokorocha in court over alleged 2.9 billion naira fraud. So it's happening, my people. Let's watch this video. Okay, guys, that is where we're going to hold it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let us read this. This is our question of the day, by the way. Inidima Okoji once posted on her IG story that she was craving a certain chocolate that you could only get in London. One of her followers promised to buy it for her. And today she's married to that person. It's you people that know. Uh, better start posting your cravings. So what are your cravings? Right now, I'm craving jollof rice and fried turkey. Nice turkey and plantain. That's what I'm craving right now. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, leave yours in the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching. Until we see you next time, peace.